All right, I'm going to cover the steps on how to change a sink basket in the kitchen sink. And one thing you want to make sure you save is once you remove the slip nut, we have a, a specialized washer for the tailpiece that goes up to a sink basket. It's flanged on one side and completely flat on the other, and this sets flush against the bottom of the sink basket, and when you tighten up that nut, it does a good job of, of keeping it from leaking. And most of these are going to come in nylon, which is a little more effective and long-lasting compared to rubber. Uh, the other thing, we're going to have a, a nut and a friction ring, a piece of cardboard, so that your nut doesn't get caught on the rubber gasket that's going to keep it from leaking underneath the sink. And then underneath here, what we're going to use as a washer is we're going to use plumber's putty. So you're going to just take a, a piece of plumber's putty and you're going to knead it in your hands for a few minutes. You've got to warm it up. It's going to make it soft. And then what you're going to do is you're going to roll it out and make yourself a, a fairly thick rope of it. And we're going to push this into the underside of the sink basket. And a little bit on an angle, maybe about the size of your pinky, and we're going to work it all the way around the bottom lip of the sink basket. And this is what's actually going to become our washer inside the sink. So now we're going to drop this down into the sink and then we're going to put our, our rubber washer, our gasket, and our nut and we're going to connect it from underneath. Alright, so when you push down your sink basket Press it hard and you're going to see a little bit of the plumber's putty coming out and you want that. So you can see right there is about what you want it to look like when you push it down from the top. Underneath you can wipe off just a little bit of the excess pulling up on the bottom of the sink basket and now we're going to put the rubber washer on first and then this friction ring so that when we tighten down our nut, it doesn't get caught on the rubber and pull it and tear it. And we're just going to snug this up like that. And then I have an excellent little tool. If you have a, a basket wrench like this, it grabs these little nipples on the end of the nut and it gives nice leverage. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten this up. I'm going to grab a, a pair of needle nose pliers and hold this to keep this from uh, turning and then we'll tighten up the rest of the basket here. So this is a little trick just with needle nose pliers you can kind of hold it in place as you're tightening this nut and you want to snug it down pretty well you're going to see that the plumber's putty is going to come out of the top quite a bit and we're going to get it very snug and if you have a, a sink that's in place and if you're working from underneath you could have someone from above hold a pair of needle nose pliers like this just to keep the sink basket from turning as you tighten it. Alright, I put in both sink baskets and I flipped over the sink and all I have to do is remove the excess plumber's putty and that's all there is to it. And if you have the luxury of having the sink off and putting in a new sink, it's easier if you do this before you install the, the sink into the countertop. But it's, it's not very difficult just to change this out if you need to change your sink baskets.